Okay, so we're super excited. Yeah, very excited. Two storms since we were last here. Yeah. And just on an initial look around, we can see loads of stuff. Loads, yeah. Fresh stuff that's been exposed, so we just can't wait to start looking. You know, the foreshore looks so different to the last time we came here. Everything's been washed clean and washed out. We're so excited. Let's do it. <laughs> What I just spotted. Yep, it's a bead, a little blue bead, always welcome. And just here there's something else. What's this? Not actually sure, but I, I'll take it. Of course, my first find, it's gonna be a cod marble cod marbles we've got hundred we've got like 150 of them now love them though that looks like a piece of doll i can just tell by the porcelain oh my goodness it is it's tiny that's the tiniest little fragment of doll head i've ever seen and i found this interesting looking piece of clay pipe so we'll take that as well i recognize that the shape of that i see two things in front of me actually but we're going to focus on this first because i think it's a pipe bowl uh it's broken well second thing i can see is not broken a beautiful big playing marble look at that gorgeous oh what's that What's that down there? I'm trying to tread carefully because the ground's precarious, very precarious. Look, it's a, it's a bead. It's a bead. Oh, lovely. Ah, no, ah, <laughs> where is it going? Don't roll down there. Thank you. Lovely, beautiful blue bead. Bit of pipe ball here. Oh my goodness, ah, I recognise that lady, there's Vicky, it's Queen Victoria, oh what a shame that is broken, oh, that would have been so cool. And I found a lid which I quite often do, and that's why Alex calls me Lydia, the queen of lids. And looking at this, can you see something in the background? I've just spotted it. <laughs> Down here, it's a pipe. Well, a pipe bowl. And I think it's just a plain one, but it's a pipe. A lid and a pipe. And I think down here is a little cup. Yes, it is. Look. Oh, it's a little cup. I love finding these. I love finding little cups and plates. That once belonged to fairies, of course. A cup. I found a little cup. There's a little brass button. Yeah, lovely little brass button. There's something else metal there. Just a random bit of metal. There's a lovely piece of spongeware fragment. Look at that. It's like a cross. That's cool. You could cut that out and make something from it. Make jewellery from it. That's lovely. Bit of bowl, I think. A little flash of blue under here. It might be nothing, but it might also be a bead. So... Let's see. Oh my goodness. It's a bead. There we go. It is. 
It's a bead. It's my second blue bead of the day. It's very similar to the other one, except this one is like a little bit, a bit paler, a bit more turquoise in colour. Looks like a little padre bead, which were also used as trade beads. But yeah, love that. Love that little bead. That looks like a large piece of lead. It is, I think. I think there's something on there. Uh, it kind of looks like there's something on there. Right, I don't know if that's some kind of religious thing. Might be the Virgin Mary on there. Oh, that's very difficult to say, but that might be something really quite interesting, so I'll put that in the bag and be careful about it. But down here looks like a coin. I think that is. It's a coin. It's got something crusty stuck to it. But we'll have to clean that up, of course. And sometimes they're too corroded to survive the cleaning process, but we can see. Oh look, it's just the end of a bottle stop. See it? Down here. Wow, the river has absolutely just smashed that up. But we were actually thinking about making these broken ones into pendants. Put a little bezel on and it's like a little bullet shaped pendant. And the river's already taken the top off for us on this one. I'm keeping that. That's definitely a project I'm going to have to work on soon. And this looks like a piece of bone. Oh my goodness, yes it is. <laughs> it's a toothbrush. A bone toothbrush. Of course, bone was used in so many ways before we had plastic. Fantastic, I love them. Another round ceramic thing. Oh, actually, it's exactly like the other one that I found. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Oh, it's a lid, of course. Of course, it's a... D <laughs> Silly me. It's a doll's lid with the handle missing. And here's a tiny bottle. Oh, no, it's broken. Look. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've just spotted something. Can you see it? It's tiny. It's tiny. It's really tiny. Can you see it yet? Look. It's tiny and it's got legs and a head. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's not even an inch tall and it's whole. Wow, I love it. Alex is going to love this. Just wait till she sees it. She's going to be so jealous. <laughs> it's a tiny little pudding doll. The tiny frozen Charlotte. Look, it's not even as tall as my two fingers are wide. I don't even know how I spotted it. I love it. I love her. Alex! Mum's found the most epic thing ever. Look at that! Tiny little doll! She's found a complete little frozen Charlotte or pudding doll. It's more, it's yeah. more likely a pudding doll. It's about... It's not even an inch, I don't think. Well, frozen Charlottes are pudding dolls, vice versa, but that is crazy. Look at that. That must have been in someone's like Christmas pudding or something <laughs> that is crazy that's an amazing find and you know what i'm gonna say i'm gonna cast that i'm gonna <laughs> well done oh i'm so happy i'm gonna cast the living daylights out of that <laughs> when i first saw the tiny legs of this little doll poking out of the mud i knew exactly what it was i just didn't know if it was going to be whole how exciting to find out it was we often speculate as to what these tiny dolls and other porcelain toys were used for. 
After some research, I managed to find the following snippets of information from 19th century books. This was written by an American girl on holiday in Europe with her family in 1880. They are on a steamer and it's the captain's birthday. This is how she describes his birthday cake. As big as a flower bed with 45 colored tapers and every single slice had one or more presents in it. So we all got something. The captain found in his piece a gold ring and a china cupid and a donkey with great long ears and its mouth wide open. Mama had a stone cigar and Papa a thimble and in my slice was the teentiest, tontiest china doll, not more than half an inch long. I have also read of doughnuts being decorated with glazed nuts and porcelain toys, mostly dolls not more than an inch long. So, it seems a lot of the tiny porcelain toys that we find were either baked into cakes or used to decorate them. No wonder so many have legs and heads missing, Maybe they were bitten off. Which makes me wonder how many got swallowed, cracked teeth, or choked someone. And we've got another little clay marble going on down here. This one's a nice one, it's really white. Look at that. It's like porcelain. It's really lovely. I just found a marble. I see it's a German marble, oh my god! Oh look! Look at that. It's just a wee one. Oh, but look at that. It's so pretty. Wow, that is gorgeous. That is a lovely little marble. I haven't found a nice marble. Well, card marbles are nice, but I haven't found a real marble, a coloured one, for a long time. So that's great. Wow, mum's on a roll. We've got a, a German marble, a complete German marble there. Look at that, that's a beauty. Well done. <laughs> What's this I spy ear then? It's an ear, of course. It's a doll's head ear. Oh, look, look at this stopper. What's this for a stopple bopper? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's a large, like, um, apothecary style stopper. That would have been in some kind of apothecary bottle. So Alex has found a really interesting stopper. Yeah, look at that. Not the kind we usually find, though. We have found those before. Not that big, though. No, that's, that's a, big a big one. one. That's a huge one. I love it. Me too. <laughs> Yes, it's a whole bottle. <laughs> and here is practically a whole school slate. See the lines on it? Where Victorian children would have learnt their writing. I love it. I'm going to keep it. I'll have to pick it up on the way back. Oh, we just found a lovely little gem down here. Look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Most likely out of someone's brooch, earring, necklace, some kind of costume jewellery. Made of glass, I think. Unfortunately, not a geek big diamond. But that's beautiful. We'll have to do something with these little cut gems in the future. Let's have a look. Has it got anything on it? No, it doesn't have anything on it, but it is a TW. It is a, a tenant's workman pipe. Oh, see a little head down here. It's on a broken body though, unfortunately. There. Looks like a little girl or something. Probably have some kind of figurine or maybe some kind of cake decoration, who knows. Well, she'll go along, in along with the rest of our collection of disembodied heads. 
some kind of little lid thing. Oh, it's like a lid with a hole in the top. Might be off a feeding bottle, maybe a baby's feeding bottle. I'm not sure. Oh no, wait, I think it's a doll's lid, just the knobs being smacked off the top. It's not a hole. Do you know what? I found one exactly the same with the knob off, and I didn't know what it was. Either. Oh, really? You found one? Found exactly the same, and I was like, oh, <laughs> silly me, it's a lid, obviously. Mum just said she found one exactly the same, but she didn't know what it was. I just realised it just occurred to me what it was. But we can glue, like, maybe we could glue something on the top of it. Yeah. Make our own little knob. I've spotted something down here. Oh, look, it was a little spoon. Probably a mustard spoon or something. But it's broken, but yeah, I like it still. Might come in for something. And here is another bit of school slate. Can you see the lines on it? I keep hoping I'm going to find one that someone has carved their name into. That would be really cool. And over here is a really nice glass lid. And it says Nuttall and Co. But unfortunately it's got a chip out of it there so I might leave it for someone else because I do have quite a few. And down here is the neck of a cod bottle. Does it still have its marble in it? That's the question. Oh wait! Oh it does! I can hear it. Can you, can you hear that? Another one with its... it's still got its marble in. Fantastic. Oh, Mum's got another marble in the cod neck. Look at that. That's the third one you found. Yeah, on different days. On different days, yeah. And what's this? Oh, it's some sort of... Uh, some sort of glass lid, but it's really lovely. Look at that. Is it a glass lid? Yeah, oh look, it's got metal around it. It's... Oh, it's it's like cut glass with a metal rim. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I like that. There's a poor little broken figurine here. It's someone playing tennis. Oh, one day we'll find a whole one, maybe. Oh, I think I've just found another bead. A little white one, look just poking up it is it's a bead yes my fourth bead of the day get in lovely it's a lovely white bead beautiful let's find some more another pipe bowl chilling down here and no nothing on it not even a TW. Oh, actually, just as I was almost gonna... Oh, there's a little dermal denticle of a fish. Oh, it's a fish scale. But yeah, okay, what was it? Oh, there. Clay pipe bowl. Another one. This water is really cold, mind. Oh, I don't think there's anything on it, unfortunately. Bottles and jars down here in the water. We've got some marmalades. There's another one. Oh, big old marmalades. I think I will put them further up just in case we don't want them getting washed away and broken up in the river. Oh, I'll put those further up the bank when I go up there. Another little brass button. Lovely. I see some glassy something or other sticking out here. Oh, I think it might be off uh, an old syringe. A very old syringe. There's more complete bottles down here in the water that I'm going to put further up so they don't get washed away in the next tide. 
And what else? Down here as well. Yeah. Whole jar. I'll put that up here as well. We might take them. Or someone else might take them, but... We don't want them getting washed away because they'll be broken. Nobody will be able to have them then. Oh, what's that? Clay pipe. It's a tenant's clay pipe with a beautiful little heart on it. Oh, of course, cod marble. Oh, there's always a cod marble. What am I kidding? There's another one. No surprise there. Can you spot the find? A good old cod marble. Oh, and of course, there's another cod marble buried. Half buried. There's the broken cod bottle. And down here is the escaped cod marble. Unfortunately, that cod bottle is knackered. But at least we've got a marble. Another clay pipe bowl. I don't think it's got anything on it again, so... And over here is a bit of a mouthpiece from a clay pipe. Oh my goodness, I know what that is because Mum's just found one. Ah, oh, it's a German marble. Handmade German marble with kind of a lattice swirl in there. I can't quite see what the pattern is. Oh, that's so weird. Mum just found one before. It is knackered, obviously. It's really chipped up. As the weather cools up and as the weather cools down and warms up and cools down and warms up, it makes the glass really unstable and it chips. It just chips like that, unfortunately. But I'm not complaining. That's a really cool find. Last week, we were lucky enough to find a handmade German marble in good condition. However, these are the poor condition we usually find these marbles in. The larger is a latticinio coarse swirl marble, and the smaller is a lobed or finned solid coarse swirl marble, which are much sought after today, but not in this condition. <laughs> I think that's a bit of a lead toy. It is some kind of bit of lead toy, I'm not sure what. Oh, look at that dish. Oh, look at that dish. Oh, it's broken. Oh no, that's so cool. Look, it has a compass rose on it and ships in the background. Can you see that? Oh, it has something written up there. Look, ships, compass rose. Oh, that is cool. I want to know what that is. And I know mum loves things like this. We both do. Are there any, is there any more of it? This is a fragment of what would have been a beautiful bowl. It's what's known as Newcastle or Sunderland lusterware and was produced by several potteries from both sides of the River Tyne. This fragment appears to have been made between the 1840s and the 1870s by Cornfoot Cart & Co, later John Cart & Sons, who made the style of bowl with the flared rim. They also used the wavy orange ribbon pattern with the mariner's compass transfer being on the inside of the bowl. The company worked from North Shields Pottery, which was located at the low lights at North Shields on the River Tyne, in what was then Northumberland in the north of England. The pottery was built in 1802 and by 1832 was operating under the name of Cornfoot Cart & Co. A newspaper article of the 1840s sheds a rare insight into the printing process used at the pottery. The potter's printer mixed the required colours with linseed oil and other ingredients and applied this to an engraved copper plate. The image was then printed onto tracing paper in a lithographer's press. The paper was carefully placed onto the unglazed pot by women. 
After hardening, the pottery was glazed and fired for up to 16 hours. Pieces such as our bowl would have then been hand painted and fired to produce the lustrous finish. The pottery in North Shields closed in 1913 and no trace of this fascinating part of North Shields industrial history now remains. And another cord marble. That's a beautiful shiny one though. Lovely little pipe bowl just lying here, look. It's a plain one, it's a plain TW, but it's very lovely. Oh, look down there. It's a pipe bowl, it's a knobbly pipe bowl. Look at that, it's all knobbly and knobbly. We imagine that's for grip. You can hold your pipe bowl really well with all those knobbles on. Cool. And talking about pipes, there's another pipe bowl. Let's have a look. Nothing on it. It's another plain one. Haven't found many hearts today. They're usually all heart pipes. Yeah. It's my fifth bead of the day. Ha ha. Mum's only got one bead. <laughs> but she's found all the best treasures so far. I haven't. You have? Oh my, oh my goodness. I said I wanted to find a frozen nose. Bro! No! She's broken. It's like a, a frozen Charlotte, but it's not quite a frozen Charlotte because it's got, it had movable arms. Oh no! I found a broken doll and a broken leg. Look at this. It's a claw pipe. Oh, I like that. It's getting dark, so it's a bit hard to focus on things. But I love it. This is the most complete claw and egg pipe bowl that we found to date, with only one claw missing. Claw pipes were produced by many different clay pipe manufacturers in many forms, from chicken claws to eagle claws, and are always an exciting find. We both just walked past this bowl twice. Oh, what's that? Dublin. Oh, cool. Just says Dublin. Must have been made in Ireland. How cool is that? I just pulled this amazingly coloured bottle out. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's got a little chip on the lip, just a really small one. I love it, it's got something on the bottom. Just numbers I think, registration numbers. Oh, I really like that. What do Tower Bridge in London, Eddiston Lighthouse in Cornwall and this bottle have in common? The bottle once contained Isal disinfectant and was produced by Newton Chambers & Co. In 1792, George Newton and Thomas Chambers founded an ironworks. Between the 1870s and the 1890s, iron from the company was used to construct the fourth Eddystone Lighthouse and the building of London's iconic Tower Bridge. About this time, the company opened a chemical works to utilise the by-products of its iron smelting, coke ovens and gas production and in the 1890s they introduced their ISIL range of disinfectant products to the market. The base ingredient for ISIL was coal tar, a by-product from the production of coke and gas from coal. Their product range included various types of disinfectant soap, its infamous ISIL medicated toilet paper, and bottled disinfectant which was marketed as safe and non-poisonous. Coal tar is still used today, for its antifungal, anti-inflammatory, anti-itch and anti-parasitic properties. Okay, it's getting pretty dark now. I found just this queen-shaped thing here. I'm hoping that is actually a coin. It's funny because when I walked past the first time I put this lid here, 
I wonder. Very much looks like a coin. It's very coin shaped. Well, I'll leave that. Put it in my bag and then see what it is later on when we get home. These two coins appear to show a young Queen Victoria, which will date them to around the first half of the 19th century. They're probably half pennies and look as if they were well worn before they were accidentally thrown away. That card bottleneck looks as if the card, the marble might still be in. And you know what? I think it is. I don't think that gap is big enough. So there's another neck. Can't hear the marble in there because it's stuffed full of dirt. Got a small collection of these now. How weird. We have, we've never found them before. And then all of a sudden, these past few weeks, we've found loads of them. I don't know how I spot this, especially because it's dark. Look. Look. The tiniest white seed bead. That's crazy. I can barely see. <sighs> Another pipe hiding down here. Oh, what's that? Oh my goodness! It's a head! Ha! It's like a little frozen Charlotte head. Do you think it'll fit on my body? The body that I found before? Wouldn't it be absolutely mental? Oh, it's quite a detailed little one. Oh, okay. It's a bit creepy actually. <laughs> Oh, that would be really cool to cast as well. Anyway, what I originally saw was this pipe bowl. And this one does have a heart on it. There we go. It's a tenant workman pipe. Wow. I don't know how I spot the little head because it's so dark. What on earth? Here are some of the tiny dolls and doll parts we discovered today, cleaned up and cast in recycled sterling silver. They will all eventually become pendants, charms or quirky rings. Cod marble in the dark. I found loads of cod marbles today as well. It's been another cod day. <laughs> Hold my bottleneck here. And there is a dog's Sure. <laughs> it really is dark. I don't know if you can even see that. Yeah, it's a dog's jawbone anyway. Ta-da! We've got torches now, so we can actually see. And look down here, I was really excited about this. And whilst, as I was clambering to get everything ready. Do you know, uh, before I found, oh my goodness. That strange tin lead thing, this one is in much better condition. Wow, look at that, it's like a coin or something. It has something around the edge on both sides as well. What is it? That's really cool. It's funny, never found one before and two come along at once. It always happens like that for some reason. It turns out this crusty metal disc is actually something quite cool. We think it's made from a tin alloy and is a commemoration coin for Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee in 1897, commemorating 60 years on the throne. On the front it reads, Victoria, Queen and Empress, Diamond Jubilee, 1897. And on the back, Born, 1819, Enthroned, 1837, Jubilee, 1887, 60 years of reign, 1897. In the centre it depicts Britannia, a lion, which is the national animal of England, and three busts of Queen Victoria on her silver, gold and diamond jubilees. Okay, another find here is this beautiful black glass wound bead. How beautiful is that? It's quite big. Yeah, it's really unusual. It is, isn't it? And can you see those swirls in it? 
that means that it's been wound. It's wound glass rather than pressed in a mould. But that's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's gorgeous. I love it. Brilliant. So we had the Alex, actually. Woke up one morning with the great idea of using a sieve. garden sieve on the soil on the foreshore and putting it in the water and seeing what we can find in the pan. So let's have a go and see what we can do. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to fill the sif sifter up with some of this soily stuff that's been dug out of the bank side. If there's anything hiding in it. Like beads. Luckily, even though it is still... Is it no? Is it the first day of February or the last day of January? I can't remember. It's a cold time of year, but the water is surprisingly not freezing, so... Hmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, it is, it is dark now, so... Oh. No, nope, nothing in there. Nope. Uh, Here we go again. Here we go again. It's not gold panning. It's dump panning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Cod marble! Oh! We've got a cod marble! We found something! Yay! Our first find! Our first I'm good find! Sieve. We've got a cod marble. So what else is what else in here? Do you want to sift, uh, use that? Because okay. it's easier if you do it. Well that's good. Oh, a bit of pottery with some acorns on it, look. That's oh that's quite, cute. Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit of a lid. Or like a pot lid, I think. It's hard to see on the camera because the light's sort of bleaching oh, it out. Oh, right, yeah. Let's try oh, again. Let's zoom. Here goes another one. Let's Keep your fingers well. crossed. Oh. Oh, what's that round thing? That round thing. Like a disc. That looks interesting. Yeah. It's like bone. Oh! Oh! Ah, cod marble! Cod marble? We got a cod marble. Look at that. That's a nice one. I oh, know. It's really clear. It's really clean. On the bag was. Wait, where's that bone, that bone thing? thing? Yeah. Oh, there. There, there, there. there. Oh. Is it bone? Yeah, it is. It's oh, bone. Cool. I love so things like that. Maybe off like a baby's feeding bottle? Yeah, probably. Or, yeah, because the hole's quite big, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, that's good. Cool. Two things in this one. We're getting better at it. Yay. I don't know if you can see us. Might be able to, yeah. might not. <laughs> Treasures, reveal yourself. Come on. There must be something good. Oh wait, I think I saw something. Yeah. It looks awfully like a cold marble. Oh no. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh no. Oh there it is. <sighs> oh that's uh, a nice one. It is. It is a nice one actually. We must have broken the world record for finding the most cod marbles in one day. If not, we've certainly broken our record with a whopping 15 cod marble haul. And if you count the two still in the bottlenecks, that's 17 altogether. We've already amassed quite a collection and have decided to use them to create a cod marble pyramid. Let's see how big we can get it by the end of the year, after which we'll be turning it into a unique light sculpture. quite like it, it's quite satisfying it is. doing this. Just getting all that dirt out, revealing those treasures. Oh, we've got a clay marble. Oh, Look. another marble. Well, a clay ball. Well, it's good for finding marbles. Yeah.
Your fingers must be freezing. They are. They are very cold. Oh, what's that? Oh, it looks like a pipe. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Have a look. That's a bit of leather shoe. <laughs> this yeah. one's leather boot. And yeah, look. Look at the pipe ball. It's got anything on it. It's got like a line around yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Or is that just a crack? No, I think it is. There's a crack going down there. There's a line all the way around it. Oh. Alex has got another sieve full of stuff. Have a look. Oh Let's my see. goodness. What? 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 Oh, a bead. A bead. Yay. A bead. It's a beautiful yellow bead. Oh, that's lovely. It's like amber. Oh, yes. We found something! Hooray! Yay. It's paying off! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just Alex spotted this and I trod on it. <laughs> it's a pipe bowl. Just as we're about to leave. There you go. Last find of the day, or I should say night. Okay, so one last one before we go. Oh, So let's hope there's something in this yeah, one as well. And my back is starting to kill me now. We've already found some interesting things <laughs> though. Well, I'm quite pleased. I'd be happy if this, if, even if this last one didn't have anything in it. Yeah. Can't okay. always be lucky. Here we go. One last try. Oh. <laughs> You're back. We are hungry. It's yeah. dark and we're tired. Yeah. So, okay, let's see. Oh, I can see a marble. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, I see a few things. Hold on, I'll get these big rocks out. Oh my goodness, I hope that is what I... Marble. Marble, cod marble. I saw that, but there was something else. There, look, look. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's a soldier. Oh, oh I love a those. Soldier. Look, he's got a gun. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh the that's poor good. thing. That is good. That's a good little find. What else? That's a What's spoon. That? Is it? I found one of those earlier and it was bigger. Is it? It's a little spoon. It's like a tiny spoon. Oh, it's not yeah. a snuff spoon, is it? Oh my goodness. There's what not else like is anything there? else in here, is there? Wow, this one's a good one. I know. This really is the last one because we really do have to go. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Oh my goodness. There's a pipe. That's a pipe. pipe. It is, isn't it? And a marble. I saw a marble. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's the one, yeah. I think that the pipe's pipe got something, something on, on it. it. Yep, yeah, look, cod marble, look, look. How many cod marbles have we got? We've got loads of cod It's got something on it. What is it? It's got like a heart on oh, it. Oh, a huge heart. That's, That's different to the ones we yeah, normally Yeah, look. Find. W R something. Does that say Armar? That's in I Armars. Armars. Yeah, that Armars in. Someone's been copying the tenants. Yeah. <laughs> they have been cheeky that and have looks trying to like be. It. Someone's been copying the tenants. Armars in Ireland. Must be Irish. That's funny because her name was Armar. No, it says W R something. Ferris. Oh, we'll have to look that up. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Anything else? Well, don't make that make you want to. I want to do know, another do one. one. <laughs> yes, I know. We have to one go. more then. One more. Okay. One more. Okay. Because it makes me want to do another one as well. <laughs> There's nothing else in there anyway. Okay, one okay. more quick. Alex just found this. Look, it's got all the little squares on it. It's really crisp. And I just found a heart. <laughs> As the last shovelfuls of soil go into the sifter, we live in hope. <laughs> 
better not be anything in this, otherwise we'll be here all night. Yeah, stop finding things. Oh, we will be here all night. <laughs> okay, let's do this one then. Here we go. One last one. My nose is running. This really, really, really is the last one it this really, time. It really, really is the last one, yeah. Because <laughs> my back's breaking. Yeah, really my much. neck's breaking. Yeah. See, anything? see anything? I can't. No pipes, no marbles. Oh, what's that? A bit of broken doll's oh, dish. Oh, doll's no. dish. I think our luck has just run out. The last one of the day. Yeah, we've got a bit of broken doll dish. No. That's a pretty bit of pottery though, isn't yeah. it? Unfortunately it's not much of a design to make it into anything. No. No. This is a sign that we have to go home now. It is. I think yeah. that is a sign, yeah. <sighs> <laughs>